Hey parents, in this video I just wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about some of the philosophy behind a flipped classroom. Undoubtedly at this point in your uh, student's year you've learned that I have decided to flip the learning in my classroom and I wanted to, you to understand some of the ideas behind it and what I am going to do to hopefully make your child's learning much more exciting this year in chemistry. So hi, you can see my face now because I'm trying to uh, make sure you get a real sense of what the, what your students may see. Um, but in the picture you'll notice something that we as educators call Bloom's Taxonomy. Now Bloom's Taxonomy is the hier hierarchy of learning that can happen in a classroom. And so you'll notice that the bottom is very broad and it's a pyramid. So at the bottom you have knowledge and you have understanding. And what you'll probably remember is that when a teacher teaches knowledge and teaches things for understanding, lessons can be pretty boring. And so when I went to school and probably when you went to school, um, there was probably some boring lessons where you had to learn. Uh, how to you had to prove that you understood the concept or that you proved that you had knowledge of a concept that stuff is really kind of boring where the excitement comes in learning and engaging your students is when we get to the top of the pyramid which is typically a little smaller where we can create and evaluate and analyze and apply all the things that we have already gained knowledge and can and be able to understand and so what a flipped classroom does is allows me to, to de-emphasize understanding and remembering in those, lo those lower, lower order thinking and teaching skills in the classroom when the, when the kids are exposed to me. And what I will do is I will make videos of those things. And that way in the classroom we can spend way more time doing creating and evaluating and learning to um, analyze and apply the chemistry. Um, many of you probably know that chemistry can be a very interesting subject, explosions and color changes and all those things that people love about chemistry. Well, a flipped classroom will allow me to do more of that because I'm going to push out kind of the more boring yet necessary things things where students are going to have to be able to understand and be able to demonstrate knowledge and remember certain things out of the classroom so I don't have to spend any class time doing that but I can spend more time doing the fun stuff and so I'm really looking forward to flipping doing a total flip of my classroom now why do I flip well you get a sense of maybe a little bit of why I flip already the lower order stuff while important can be very boring if I gave my students a million dates to memorize and told them that they had to go do that in class that seems to be a gross waste of class time with the advent of YouTube <laughs> knowledge is not at a premium anymore and I know I'm I'm a teacher and here I am telling you that you can learn about anything right now on YouTube or on the internet um, as long as as long as it's a reliable site and so I can't be the gatekeeper to knowledge that's what's pictured in the picture there is kids in rows and columns and you know back in the day when that was how classes were teachers were revered for their knowledge and what they knew <laughs> I am NOT that person anymore if you want to know something you can go find it out on the internet you don't need me to teach your students how to do things what you need me to do is teach your students what I'm really good at which is creating and analyzing the chemistry that's what I'm good at doing and so I can facilitate their knowledge and I can engage them in the chemistry if I'm pushing those lower order things out of the classroom or finding YouTube videos that teach what I am trying to teach across. So there's a whole bunch of benefits to flipping the classroom that I think in this 21st century are probably very important and very necessary to do. Um, some other benefits. 
that are, I think, very straightforward right out of the gate is that what if your student is absent one day? Well, they're not going to miss a lecture. They're not going to miss important content that is, that is a, the foundation of some of the chemical concepts. They can, they can still get the foundation, but then miss some of the, and then in class they'll miss some of that experiential stuff, which is still a bummer, but at least they're not having huge gaps in their knowledge about chemistry. They're just missing some of the more hands-on stuff. Um, also, if your student is uh, a slower learner or needs help, here we can, you can rewatch videos. It's almost impossible to go back and rewatch a lecture or a lesson in a classroom unless it's being videotaped. Well, guess what? I can videotape the lesson and then your student can rewind, fast forward, rewatch for understanding. Or if your student totally knows what's going on, they can also go through the lesson very quickly or skip it all together. It is self-paced, so that is another reason why I love flipped learning. Um, so what are your responsibilities? As parents, your responsibilities don't really change, um, which is probably good for you to know. Um, but I will tell you that you can be as involved as you want, learning, helping your child learn chemistry as much as as, as you see fit. If you want your child to learn independence and you feel like hey, it's your, it's your thing, you go off and do it, then that's great. If you're one that you know that your child needs um, some extra support and extra help um, learning stuff, the videos are going to be here, the concepts are going to be there, and so you can learn just as much chemistry, hopefully, as your student can. And I think that that's a real positive, and that's, that can be part of your responsibility. That's something that you can do um, that I don't really know right off the bat. You know your student and so you can help your student or not help your student as best you can outside of the classroom. Um, me, my responsibilities, I've added a bajillion responsibilities to me. I have to make sure that I am producing good videos or that I am providing good digital content that, that, that I can disseminate to the students. So that's my responsibility along with making sure that they have meaningful in-class activities that provide analysis and those higher order thinking uh, skills analysis and creating and evaluating and all those things that that we need to do and the students now here's here's the kicker is that your students now can become more responsible for their learning the students there's no excuse now for them not to understand something if they can rewatch and re-see practice you can do a million different things with <laughs> with the video that you couldn't do in class the only thing they can't really do is ask a question right then and there but they can definitely rewind and see if the question gets answered so there's the students now become more um, more in charge of their learning with the hope of eventually being able to master as much chemistry as possible. So um, the person who really has a lot of change to deal with is probably your student because they're not going to be used to having to learn it on their own and that's going to be a challenge. Um, and so then <laughs> we will work with that and we will go with that and we will do the best we can um, and you'll be surprised at how well this works in my experience so um, if you have any questions feel free to email me um, feel free to call me to however you want to get a hold of me um, I would be happy to take feedback and um, whatever you need so thank you very much and have a great day